Who would hop? This looks like a Wade Harrison. Well, that's good. I didn't even need to do the Wade right now. Yeah. Everything should be out Appreciate on there. All your videos, Wade. Oh, thanks, man. There's like a roller molded pole in there. That is makes it extremely easy to carry this thing with that. And this boat is very light compared to some of the boats I've had out there. This boat is very light. It reminds me of the Chili. It's that kind of lightness to it. It's got a very light with that track and seat pan in it. And the way they do this, this pillar in the top, it's a very light boat. Warm up the legs. Woo! You start feeling it about halfway, feeling that burn in the calves and quads, but you know what? It's like a feel good burn. Hey, I like your shoestrings back, man. Oh, wait a minute. You wanna compare our shoestrings?
Get him! He was coming right for you. Come on, Hunter, they're gonna turn the damn water off. You're in a Nova, that's no fair. Disappeared on him. <laughs> One minute he's got a wave, next minute he don't. It's gone. Just keep piling until it comes back. You gotta get used to the lack of stability in it. It's an aggressive paddling boat, so I would recommend it for someone with like some play bait, more, more like an aggressive top paddler. That's who I would recommend it for. It's a tricky little rapid here, I think. like how you can kind of load this tail, lift that bow up, it paddles good like that. Reminds me of a ripper in that style, the way I can kind of load that. It's not like a rewind because it doesn't have the rocker of a rewind. It's like rocker of a ripper, but narrow. Way more narrow up there. Ooh, yeah. Across your eyeballs. out of stuff you can go back on that tail nicely rotate around on that tail <laughs> all right
right, everybody. That's it. That's the full on water review. I didn't talk as much while I was on the water, so you didn't see much there, but you've seen how the boat paddles. I'm going to give you final thoughts on the EXO Rexy, the sexy Rexy. Uh, this thing, to me, seemed like a good combination between if you took a ripper and a brap and mixed them together. You can see there's, there's the edging on it. It's flat here, but then it edges around, but it has that kind of brap style up here. You, and this runs out. It doesn't have the kick rocker of the brap, but it's more like a ripper back here. So it did. To me, it paddled like a combo between a ripper and a brap. So take that for what it is. I like the boat. I could totally rock this boat. I feel like I'm a little heavy for it. I'm right at about 185. I don't know how many kilos that is. I'll put up on the screen how many kilos. I don't know. But I feel that a good weight range for this would probably be about 165, 170. And it, this thing would perform like a beast in, wa in bigger water. It doesn't have a lot of rocker in it. So it's not super like coming out of drops. You want to do that tail load. You want to load that tail when you're coming out of drops, similar to the Ripper. The, so you're going to have to have an aggressive kind of stern load to get back on there. And it's very wide right here behind the hips. So it's not easy to get down, but as you've seen in the video, I can splat it. I can fly, um, like get it up on rocks. I can squirt it. I can hold it once it gets up. It's nicely balanced back there. I, there is a party version of this that's dipped in here. This is not the party, Rexy. This is more kind of the all around. So I kind of understand why they did that, why they went with the style like the brap, the party brap. They found out that it, it, you could make it a little more playful with just some in, internal molding very comfortable i was very comfortable in this boat these exo guys they know how to make outfitting this thing fit like a dream these thigh braces work extremely well this back band worked really well it's just basically the back band i covered it in the um you can already see how it's starting to wear there so that would be the failure point to me i think i would go with a different type of cord i would look for another type of cordage on it uh overall I like the boat. I think they did a good job. I like the, the Rexy. I think it's a great boat. If someone can find something, like I said, between the Ripper and the Party. Uh, the Ripper and the Brap, not the Party Brap. I would like the Party. I would like to try the Party EXO Rexy and see if flattening that out does help. I think it would. I could get this thing down, but I think I'd be even better in it. The outfitting is bomber. I love this outfitting. They know how to do it. In my walkthrough, I covered that. If you guys haven't checked out my walkthrough video, go over and check over that where I really broke down the outfitting and I think you can kind of see what's going on with this boat. But yeah, overall, I think it's a good, great boat. I think they did a good job. You guys leave in the comments below what you think of the Rexy. If any of, um, any of you guys have paddled the Rexy, what your opinion of it is. I think it's a well-rounded boat. You look at the hull, it's just a well-rounded. It seems to do everything pretty damn good. It's a little squirrely. It gets a little squirrely back here on this back edge, but once you kind of start tuning it in, you learn how to kind of work with it. All right, everybody, that's all I got for this video of the on-water review of the Sexy Rexy, the EXO Rexy. Sexy Rexy, baby. Ciao. Ow.